and the foliage smell like that. And I'll tell you a little rule of thumb. If anything has got fragrant foliage, the deer will not touch it. Okay. That's a good rule of thumb if you ever want to just know. But you want to get rid of the critters, yeah. but you want to draw hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are the most fascinating creatures. They are, they are like the little clowns of the bird world. <laughs> I love to watch, well, I, I don't mean, because I don't like clowns, but I love hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are there are four different plants here. Well, two different ones, two each of two different plants. Thank you. It's what we have, but it's a big, big collection. So you get a hummingbird garden. Yes. For a price tag of under thirty dollars. And cut flowers. Oh, true. Good. And you know Aaron, who works for yes, us. Yep. Well, he cuts these and lets them dry in the back window. This is what. In, if you don't feel like vacuuming or cleaning your car, uh, you put this in the car and it will freshen it. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to hang that little tree uh, from the, the rear view mirror. Oh, that's beautiful. You can use this. Well, we've got them in pots, but these grow almost throughout the entire country. Yes, they do, and they're tough. This is my go-to perennial because I've got a lot of deer. Yep. If you're if you if you've got a war going Welcome on with the deer, Chester County, just step, step aside. The deer are always going to win. Stop the fighting and start the clever planting. Put in things that the deer don't like to eat. This is one of them. It's my go-to perennial. I use these for all my clients. It's what I call the backbone of the perennial garden. Okay. These will never let you down. They bloom all summer long, and they give you this bountiful cloud clouds of color. Also, you have to consider, uh, if you are a bird watcher, the, the size of a hummingbird and the scale of how many miles they travel. Yes. Hummingbirds fly south like larger birds do. They just have much smaller like wingspans to from, do it. From New York? Yes. Uh, so <laughs> like here, here in, in Pennsylvania, we have hummingbirds that are native to our area, but they fly all the way to Mexico in the in the the colder season, and then they fly back. And this is one of the ways that you can attract them into your yard and to feed them. Indeed, and these are low, low maintenance. The plants I'm shipping out are uh -huh. this size. They will bloom their heads off this year. These bloom up quick, quickly. These are all. These are perennial. These come back every single year. They multiply. If you've got a daylily garden that's looking a little tired to you. Plant these among your daylilies. They'll fill in those areas. It plant, blooms plant <clears throat> like an annual. <clears throat> Pardon it me. comes back. Plant them about, about 16 inches apart, and they're going to get uh, anywhere from what, about 15 to maybe about 22 inches in height? You got it right. Okay. Yes. So you've got a wall of color. Even in containers. Okay. They're beautiful in containers because, as you see, look at those. Those are the colors that you're going to be getting. Gorgeous. Two each of two different colors. And again, it's those designer colors. I love, love, love this look because they're low maintenance. They're reliable. They're going to come back every year. The critters are not going to get in them. You've got something that's going to work. I also put them in front of my roses because the uh, fragrance of the foliage will keep the oh. deer off the roses. So it's like invisible fencing for deer. Yes. We, yes. Philip and I happen to live in. in in a county here in Pennsylvania that has high, one of the highest deer populations in the country. It's crazy. It is crazy. And, and that's just us. And, and as a gardener, it must, it must have been making you nuts. Well, it was, but the thing is you have to be smart, smart enough you to, have to do it. You have to be smart right. about it. And uh, people you know, spend their entire lives full of anxiety, trying to control things that they're never going to be able to control. I had an all-you-could-eat buffet. Thank you. For but deer. This is what you do. Be smart about it. Choose your battles wisely, and this is a wise choice for you. They come back every year. They're low maintenance. The critters don't get in them. They're extremely rewarding. It, this is also, by the way, and I love that we get two different colors. So mix them and match them. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's a certain, so many plants are very uniform. I, this year, what I added to my home, and I was talking about it earlier, is we did a rock garden. Yes. Brought in boulders from a quarry here in Pennsylvania right. that are wonderfully massive. And it's very uh, free flowing. Well, it's, it's almost like this a, would fit so well. It's like a fog rolling in. That's 
That's because good. It is. It, That's it's good. Very, it, because it gives a mystical look. And in my photographs, you know, I do a lot of garden photography for those of you who've looked on Facebook or picked up my book, Your Garden book Magic. Is, yes. Is it this gives that ephemeral look to the garden, which is really, really nice. It's relaxing. It, it is really relaxing because most flowers, you can focus on the individual flower. This one is like a colorful mist. You know, like where's Heathcliff? That's yeah. <laughs> so I've been looking for those things to, to add to this rock area, and Kelly calls it a Zen garden. I don't know yeah. what Zen is. It, it's going to be my place to sit and drink I a beer and chill out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but the, I just see this as fitting. There's there's a wonderful natural scape. And then, can we go back to that one photo? When you see these together, it, it's a pop of color and just a texture that forces you to relax. And if you've ever seen hummingbirds, Yes. They will fascinate you. It's just delightful, but it gives you that big, big pop of color. You know how people go out and, and they buy the fall chrysanthemums? Yes, That's yes, a yes. one-time thing, and it always looks like a pet cemetery to me. Not a fan of those. This is this color all season long, and you don't have to replant them every year. They are there, one and done. That's what I like to do. Be smart about it. If you've got deer, these are for you. If you want a lot of color, these are for you. It's an unusual collection that you just don't find. And we've got them. Yes. And you're going to get all four pieces for $29.96. Today, by the way, is the very first day that we've had these on Easy Pay. Uh, we made these available last year in April, and they sold out. So don't, don't wait on these. Here is the map. Right, there's no benefit in waiting. You'll just have fewer choices toward the end of the season. We ship when it's perfectly safe to plant in your area. So please reserve your plants now. Pick your area of the country out on our zone map, match it to your box off to the right hand side of the dates when the plants will ship. Nothing ships until it's perfectly safe to plant in your area. First time gardeners, here you go. Gardening made easy. We at Cottage Farms